My name is Jamie Callis. Uh, my real name is James. I'm a diagnostic radiologist. When I was 11 years old, my, my dad taught gross anatomy and I started dissecting cadavers when I was 11 years old. And I learned uh, gross anatomy when I was 11 years old and I had the opportunity to teach, do a teaching assistant job for p physician's assistant and occupational therapist and physical therapist when I was 16 years old. So I was teaching graduate students at 16 years old. Um, and that strike my, uh, that was my personality. I enjoyed teaching, I enjoyed the medical aspects. I started talking to some of the physician's assistants and got to meet some of the medical students. Knew my dad was a doctor. I mean, that's what, that's what I grew up with. And we were destined, both my brother and I are both doctors. Um, and that's, that's how I went into medicine. You don't know what you want to do until you start doing it. Well, I did a rotation in urology. I said, this looks fun. This is what I want to do. And so, I went to the University of New Mexico and did urology for two years. After two years, I realized that it wasn't the specialty for me. Um, and then I had thoughts about going into neurosurgery and then, of course, radiology, which was what I was going to do my whole career. And I decided, you know, I stuck with radiology, so I went back down to Galveston and did radiology training, and that's how I ended up being a radiologist. I put myself in, 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 in the patient's shoes to, to know what they're thinking and, and try to communicate with them about what's going on. And, you know, radiologists are a doctor's doctor. You know, so we tell the doctors what's typically wrong with the patient through, through, through an image. And, but, but we always have to keep in mind that the patient is behind that image. It's not just a picture. I was in an elevator in a hospital um, around, around this area and I was going up to the second floor. And a lady got into the elevator with me and I pushed the second floor and asked her what floor she wanted to go to. She said, I'm going to the second floor. And all of a sudden she reached over and kissed me on the cheek. And it kind of freaked me out, as you can imagine. And I said, what was that for? And she says, do you remember me? I said, no ma'am, I don't. And I said, she said, she gave me her name. She says, in 2004, you saved my life. And so that's what it's all about for me. You know, when you make that big of a difference and you know that you're making that big of a difference, it, there's nothing better than that. I have two great children, um, Carson and Ava. Uh, he's 16 and my daughter's 13 and both brilliant kids, greatest kids ever. And so, you know, th they've been very supportive of me. They're proud of their dad, I'm proud of them. Um, and so I spend time with them, I play golf with my son. Um, you know, my, my daughter is an athlete, she plays the guitar, she plays piano, she sings, she's fantastic. Um, but you know, I owe a lot of that to my wife because sh she's had to do a lot of that on her own. And I couldn't have had a better partner through this whole thing.